Hello, fellow Mountaineers. My name is Jacob Payne, a presidential student ambassador at West Virginia University. Have you ever wondered how you could get more involved in your major? Are you really passionate about a certain course? Perhaps you're simply looking for a way to boost your resume with regard to your major. If you have found yourself pondering any of the above questions, then stay tuned, Mountaineers, because today, I will be showing you how you can become a teaching assistant and the many benefits it offers. By now you may be wondering just what a teaching assistant is and what they do. If you have ever seen an undergraduate during office hours for help in a course or seen students aid in proctoring an exam, then you have seen a teaching assistant. Teaching assistants aid professors in the delivery of course information through holding office hours, grading assignments, and participating in review sessions. As amazing as this all sounds, when I was a freshman, many of my buddies and I were unaware that undergraduate students could serve as teaching assistants, or TAs. And even after learning about being a teaching assistant, we did not know where to begin to become one. The first step to become an, becoming an undergraduate teaching assistant is possessing a good understanding of the course material and earning an A in the course. Usually at the end of the semester, if professors need any help, they send out an email to students. Students can then express interest, usually on a first come, first serve basis. I recommend stopping by the professor's office hours if you've taken the course before and expressing interest before the end of the semester. Through doing this, they can see that you are truly passionate about their course and often can become a TA then and there. Academic advising appointments are great times to do this, especially if you wish to assist with a course in your major. If you wish to offer aid for a course outside of your major, or wish to assist a teacher who teaches a different section of the course than the one you took, an email respectfully inquiring about the possibility of serving as TA for them is usually best. Okay, so now you know the different routes to becoming a teaching assistant, but I have not told you about all the wonderful benefits that being a teaching assistant affords you. Firstly, it enables you to help many different students from various backgrounds gain a deeper understanding of subject material. I know that I have found it extremely rewarding to help students gain a handle on a hard topic. We all struggle, and who better understands the student's struggles more than a fellow student? Serving as teaching assistant also allows you to become a better test taker and critical thinker. By helping professors craft exams and grade assignments, you begin to think less like a student and more like a professor. This skill will prove invaluable in other courses when time comes to decide what to study for exams and how to answer test questions. You will understand how professors grade and what they look for in a complete answer. In addition, serving as a TA is a fantastic addition to any resume, showing future employers your ability to listen, communicate, and lead. Lastly, you will be able to forge intimate bonds with your professors. This can allow students to obtain more personalized letters of reference from instructors, that, from instructors that they have taught, graded, and laughed with for things like graduate programs, scholarships, or awards to name a few. Serving as an undergraduate teaching assistant affords students the opportunity to not only tutor fellow students, but also to support and encourage future generations of Mountaineers. Mountaineers are committed to service, academic excellence, and impactful relationships. And by becoming a TA, you can take pride in continuing this WVU tradition. Be safe, Mountaineers, and have a great semester.